Okay, go ahead. Okay, so I saw one guy uh, being over by the rock wall across the street. Okay. And he was, you know, he, he stood at me. Okay, so I opened the garage door and I come out and I see him just just kind of just staring at, like, towards our house. Okay. So, you know, I'm half asleep. I really don't know what's going on. So, like, I kind of just take off and, I, would, I you know, I kind of just, like, kind of leave it be. And then I see him still, when I turn the corner, he's still there, but then I see him just disappear. So obviously he crouched down and he you know, probably, or maybe jumped a rock wall to the other neighbor's house or, you know, something, I don't okay. know. And then he just, uh, so, you know, I, I told my dad about it. I was like, maybe I saw a ghost, <laughs> you know? Right. Yeah, you know? Right. <laughs> you know? So, uh, so, and my dad could tell you more of the story about behind that all uh, that day okay. after, after I left you know he saw two more walking down the backyard right and uh and like literally in our backyard and our and he can tell more of that story okay yeah right. so, so as soon as he takes off and goes to work you want to be on camera one um yeah I don't care it doesn't matter. okay yeah if I get fired tomorrow it's all right <laughs> Uh, anyway, so uh, he sees this guy over here, and so I walk in the garage, and I shut the garage door, but I flipped on the lights, and I walked around to this door here, right here on this side room where the glass is. Okay. I walked there, and I have my backpack hanging there, and so I didn't know what I was walking out to, so I opened the door and pulled out my gun because you don't want to do that walk out here and not have anything right in case that happens and the reason being is because when i did I, the the dog knocked me down in the yard right right <laughs> he right. ran between my legs after these two guys that were walking or i saw them walking across in in our yard right okay they were all they had hoodies on it was dark but i had enough of the lights on that i could see them they were blacked out and um they had uh, backpacks right and anyway so they they were walking across the backyard t-bone ran out they jumped on the rail of the fence and t-bone headbutted the fence and they fell off into the ditch they got up and they ran this way down in the inside the ditch there's a dirt ditch on the other side of that chain link fence right uh where we irrigate from and they they ran down this way a car was parked on the other side of this light on a, in the gated this a gated community right there he was parked on the other side on the right hand side turned on his lights came to this corner they jumped in the car and off they went wow okay so and then you called and i called 911 uh you got el paso police um came up they showed up first and then Border Patrol and Homeland Security and DPS, they came, but they, they just left. You know, they didn't really talk to me. The El Paso police officer was real nice, and he was talking to me. He says, you know, just do everything you can to protect yourself. Uh, but, you know, if they're in your yard, you know, just try to run them off and call us. Right, 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 right. Okay. Yeah. And so that's what we're going to do. You know, we're going to, you know, so I put security lights up. And so if anybody gets in the backyard over that fence, you know, the lights the light turn on. Them. Exactly. And so try to run them off and keep them away until the law enforcement shows up. So. Right. Okay. And uh, a lot are more people be uh, like buying guns, arming themselves right now, or uh, you know, they. I'm sure they are. I haven't visited Cabela's. So okay. I'm not sure. Yeah. Right. Right. I read and I saw uh, there was a news article that said they actually have started like people are are uh they're afraid of what's happening and they're well we are alone now. right right i mean if it, here's the thing if it was just you know some children moms boys young men men you know traveling trying to get you know we don't have anything against those people right okay? yeah they want to get out of their country yeah it's just uh, there is a right and wrong way to get in the united states and i believe this is the wrong way it's just my opinion right um yeah and but you do have uh, narcotics traffic Okay. And that's what these guys are. Right. And that's what these guys are last night. Right. That they saw again running, you know, they were, where was he, Colby? Oh, um, he's right ne ne next to the cottonwood tree over there. Okay, there's a big cottonwood. It's a hundred year old cottonwood tree. It's right. It's across the street. And it, the base of it's bigger than your car. Um, and it, uh, he was hiding over there. 
Okay. Uh, okay. And he told my son to turn off the light because my my son had that your big yellow flashlight, and he shined in his eyes. And he goes, "Turn off your light in right. Spanish." Interesting. So. And then Colby told him what happened after that. Uh, and then he just he ran off, and okay. that was pretty much what happened. I mean, he just he just ran off this way, and then uh, about ten minutes later, uh, we had uh, two cars matching exactly what our neighbor, which the owner of this uh, mobile home right here, right? Uh, he said the same thing, and okay. so okay. he he went down, and then uh, he told he we, he told us it was the same thing. He there was fifteen of them, and then. Uh, they about ten minutes later he came coming down here. They were flying. I mean they were hauling butt and uh, and it, it's just one of those things that's sad because you know you don't want to see that, you know. Right. And uh, but yeah, I mean it's. But the it, amount it, it's, of them, it, it's, you know, I've lived here all my life. Right. I went to Tesla of high school. I you know I I just I've never had any. I'm not racist. I'm not right. But when you have you know these drug traffickers and narcotics traffickers come into your yard and they're emboldened enough to get in my yard, right? Then they're emboldened enough to take the next step, right? And and this got to stop. You yeah, know? it's. I mean, this is insane. Yeah, absolutely. Just it's turn scary. them loose. And it, is come through. it is scary. It is scary. I've lived here all my life, and again, I've we've never seen it like this. Right. Ever. That's uh And unfortunately when we talked to the um I called the Border Patrol and it given me the number and he told us that they are so swamped at night. I but bet. to call them and let them know that we're doing the right thing, but he and these are the bad people he even said. Right. These aren't the people that you know, they're all blacked out. Right. So they call I saw them in, in under light, so I know they're blacked out. Right. Okay. They're blacked out, you know, this this they don't want to be seen, right? So they want they're probably stealing and whatever. You know, people are getting their cars broken into. I here, I, I, I this is a uh, you know speculation because it's, it was on the news. That, Kathy, you know, Kathy's house. That they think there was a friend of Gary's that. A friend of Gary's that got bro his yeah. car broken into. Yeah. Right. And you know, Taking so change and stuff the, like that. You know, theft is going up and and they're getting more emboldened. Right. Yeah. Okay. So you want to see where they hide? Yeah, let's go. Well, let's go. Okay, this is our, this is T-Bone. I mean, oh. he's the nice. sweetest thing in the whole wide world. All right. Hey, T-Bone. Yeah, he had a big old banger on his head here, right here for a couple of days. It was a big old knot. He, 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 oh, really? He banged the, he bone, but oh. the head, the fence with his head. That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. He just stuck his head down and ping, and those guys just went over the rail and into the ditch. <laughs> Good dog. <laughs> well, let me, and then see, in three in the morning, I heard them keep on bark, and we keep the doggy door down because I'm kind of afraid to keep not keep the doggy door down. Right. Because you don't know if they're going to hurt my dog. Right. Exactly. So I was nervous about it, so I I got up, and of course I'm all tough. I shine the flashlight over there, and I said, "We're calling the El Paso Police Department." <laughs> <laughs> but, so when I saw them, they were up against this fence right here. Okay. Walking in this direction. Okay. And they were actually here. They weren't over here on the other side of the property. They okay. Wow. They were on your property. And then by the time T-Bone get to them, they were here. <laughs> and T-Bone was coming and they jumped on this rail and he hit the this chain to see how floppy it is. Yep. So he just hit the, the fence and they went into this ditch right here. Okay. Now the next night, we walked the ditch the next night and then the next night, we found a gallon jug of water half filled here okay in the ditch and it was new alaskan water right uh, you could probably uh see where that's made from i know i could tell you but just look it up right alaskan water okay and um uh, this is where they're hiding interesting you know how far is the border from here uh, uh <clears throat> five miles okay Five miles. Interesting. Maybe six miles, you know, in this direction. Right so now. they're hanging out somewhere around here. They're not just coming from. Well, people are coming to pick them up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And when I saw the vehicle, it was a dark vehicle. I couldn't tell you what it was. Right. It looked some similar to a Nissan. Okay. Okay. Uh, SUV. Okay. Uh, I couldn't see the plates. Um, 
I'm blind in one eye and can't see out of the other. Okay. <laughs> right, yeah, right, right. <laughs> so, you know, all I could see was just it was black plates with white lettering or yellow lettering or something like that. Okay. And they went that way. Okay. Uh, but if you go, if you drive this Gomez Road and you get to West Side Drive, on the other side is New Mexico. Yep, right. Exactly. Right. Yep. So that's where the wall is. A stone's throw from New Mexico and then the wall is that way. Right. Okay. And so anyway, <clears throat> what I think they're doing is see right here, they can hide in this brush and we're, uh, we had hired some people to uh, come and clean it out. Well, thing about it is he's saying, well, everybody's cleaning out their brush right now. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, but if you go down, if you look up there and point your camera down there, it's a pretty good. You'll see the little bridge where they hide underneath. You see the bridge? Yeah, see there's a 30 inch pipe right there so they could just crawl in that. They have someone coming out plugging all this up to help them the next week or so. Wow. See right there? Yeah. Okay, so the night, after the first night, they had a, there was, they, they all walked the ditch, our neighbor and the morning at 4 30 in the morning, and they kept looking at the flashlights, and there was a big gallon water jug that they had left there, and he was halfway drank, and that was not there the night before. Wow. Yeah, so they put it right there to make a statement. Did you, did you? Right. So. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. We see you. Yep. Yeah. We know it's you're a, there. Like, yeah. The but it really happened. hadn't. Seems like it hadn't to me. It really seems like it hasn't slowed down. Right. You know, even though you put security lights up yep. here and, and yeah. you know, you're trying to do all the things to try to just keep them away. They don't uh, care. They don't Sounds care. like they don't care at all. They used to probably. Right. But uh, it was on the news. These guys were uh, um, walking down with bags full of fish, but no fishing rods. <laughs> Interesting. You can't catch that many fish out of the Rio Grande. Right, and exactly. Drainage canals, number one. And two, you need a fishing rod or a spear. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so how fun. Interesting. That's how they caught them. Inter oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Spear fishing. Spear fishing. Okay. They, they weren't even, you know. And that canal is at the end of Gomez and Upper Valley right there. So if you go there, you'll see this big canal. Right. And then, I, you probably heard on the news a few weeks ago. I don't know if you did. The guy that ran off into the ditch, and they all went to the hospital. Right. Yeah. So I, I live in California, so I'm. And that was a mule or the coyote you call them. Or yeah, 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 yeah. Up, Coyotes. There was a police chase, and then he blew a tire, spun out, did something stupid, and went into that drainage canal. Well, that's about a 15-foot drop. Wow. So it stopped. His car stopped. I bet. <laughs> so they. Wow. Anyway, so this is, you know, we have our little area and we love our little area, but yeah. it's getting overrun. Yeah. People uh, need to be aware. That's why I'm calling everyone. They need to be aware in this area that be safe. Right. Lock your cars, you know, turn lights on now. Used to, we used to hate the lights because we yep. like the stars. Yep. And now we have to buy these. You know, yeah. You and this one got knocked over, it was on a pole right there, just like that one over there, and someone came out and kicked it. Kicked so it, knocked to, it over, so and broke the put, spike, so I got to get another spike. Wow. Okay. I just put it on there. That's right. safer, actually. Right. So, anyway. So, this is where they hide out. Right. Wow. But the uh, guy that was developing this is the one who came out in the morning, so like 15 people just jumped up and ran. Wow. So pretty close, which is right off that road where they were trying to hide that. Because this is a main call for me. Wow. Uh, front passenger, I believe, died. Wow, really? Uh -huh. What they're doing is they're hiring on Facebook. They're trying to get teenagers to, to come and pick up, and they'll make a fast book. And now they they know there's a no pursuit policy, so they say if you get lit up, you just hit it and go fast. And so he wasn't even being chased; it was another agent on the side of the road. It, but he came around fast, there he lost control, and went down. Wow. 
so he must have been going pretty fast. Right, exactly. Right, 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 right. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. And so, as we go up here to the Lion Hanger right, all the pictures I sent, I was videotaping in my car. Yeah. Right at that intersection with I-10 and, and Arca. Yeah. Is where the 30 were lined up sitting down on my Border Patrol GPS, El Paso PD. Right. Wow. 